as an on-air fundraising producer, one of the things that you're going to have to do a lot of is brainstorm. Come up with new ideas, try new things out on air during drives uh, to achieve the same goal every time, which is to raise money for the station. And occasionally, you're going to hit something that's a game changer or something that just takes the drive to a whole nother level. Probably one of the most successful things I ever did was add listener testimonials to the drives. Um, I remember this actually even brought in feedback from the community when these uh, would go on the air, which is huge for something like this. And basically, I would have a listener come in who is a member, an active contributing member. Uh, I'd put a microphone in front of them and get them uh, comfortable with that. And I would just ask them questions about why they give, why they listen, why it's important, what they think it does for the community. And I would take that you know, 15 or so minute interview and narrow it down to something between two to five minutes and turned it into a production piece for the drives. Internally, we called them testimonials, but when we got that feedback from the community, they called them listener stories, that they enjoyed the stories. It became something that once I started it, we were using every single drive. And here's one of the listener testimonials that I recorded and produced. Hi, I'm Laura Fralick. I'm a KERA member from North Dallas. As a stay-at-home mom, I am limited in what I can hear and read and see every day as far as news and things that are happening culturally in my area. KERA fits into my daily life. I listen to the content when I'm in the car or I download the podcast and listen later. Every day around noon, I check in with Chris Boyd on Think. She's very current with a lot of things that I'm interested in reading. It's fun to keep up with my reading that way. It gives me ideas on what to look for in the bookstore. Chris has some local flair to her show where I kind of feel good about supporting an author from Texas or from North Texas. One thing I really like about Chris's show is that she's obviously done her research. You can tell she's read the book. Her questions are very specific. She's quick to um, know when to transition from topic to topic. Whenever I listen to a great show, whether it be from a podcast, listen, or live on the air, I will turn off the radio and I'll look at my husband and I'll say, gosh, you know, I never thought of something that way. You just feel a little smarter, but you're kind of treating yourself to knowledge. My husband says it's like you're giving yourself a little mind vitamin, that your brain has done a little exercise today, that you learned something, you thought a different way about something that you hadn't thought about before. Where else do you hear this type of programming? Where else can you get a local, national, and international view of the world? Where else can you find out about arts, culture, music, and the performing arts? If you're going to be searching out, let's say, a piece of artwork, and you go to a show and you know that there is a local struggling artist there willing to show their work, I would much rather spend the money on benefiting someone who is from my hometown. I get a lot of a pride out of that, and I shop that way. I do my grocery shopping that way, supporting local farmers. It's the same kind of thing. You want to support those things that are given back to you, and that's why I support KERA. It's that I get so much out of KERA on a daily basis that I could put my money elsewhere, but I can't think of anything else that I consistently benefit from than the local KERA station. Mm -hmm. 